All right, so I got them all cleaned up. This is going to be the shell. So this isn't going to be the main body one. This is going to be the uh, one I give back to them. It had the broken missile there, but I'm going to put it back together. And then um, I'll put the other one back together. They cleaned up pretty nice. I use uh, warm soapy water, toothbrush, and Mr. Clean Magic Erasers to get the scuffs off. Um, there was quite a few scuffs on it. And um, it all came off pretty good. So uh, step one on this, since I'm not going to put the landing gear back in, I'm, I'm going to put the uh, landing gear covers on. Snap them back down. It only had two of the three. Snap it back down. Flip it back over. So what I do that I don't see a lot of people doing is I grease the internals of my landing gears. So I got a little bit of a uh, wheel bearing grease, Q-tip, put along the uh, edges where the plastic runs on it. just makes everything slide easier on the landing gear mechanism no reason to put any extra pressure on this old plastic 1983 this is the piece that I glued I gave it some time to dry it's very solid now so I'm gonna come along here a little bit of grease get up in the lip here Inside where the landing gear will slide in and out. Even though I don't have them on this particular one, I'll tackle that on the next one. Set it down in there. Move them back and forth. Work the grease in. Take this piece right here. It sits just like this. Grease the bottom of that. You can see where it's ran along there and drug. That's where it builds up that friction. Set that back in there. A little bit right there. Work it back and forth, work in the grease. One of the screws back in. Remember, it's not the long ones the shorter ones tighten down till it's snug move it along real nice there clean up any of the grease that's on there I'm grease the wings the little holes bottom and right here on the teeth you don't need a lot there it's just helping it move along better straight with it grease the other wing I'm 
All right, so we're going to grease post. Inside, wing sets. There we go. So I just put a little bit more grease down the gears. Just works a lot better. Put the nose cone back on. Top slides in from the back. Snap it together. Flip it over. Sure it's seated. Longer screw in the front. Go. So there's that shell. Works so much better. I know there's no landing gear on this one, but the next one will have them. Um, like I said, this is just going to be a shell. So next I'm going to put some baby oil on it. Um, just wipe it down lightly. Kind of restore the plastic. Give it a little bit of shine. Set this one to the side and then I'm going to uh, put the other one back together. Alright, so what I'm going to do is take my baby oil, put it on a uh, napkin, wipe it in. Try to cover everything. This brings back that plastic so nicely.
on the smaller things I put it in a bag with some baby oil and every couple of days I uh, flip it over so it coats everything take it out wipe it off these larger things you can't put in a bag like that I'm gonna wipe it on let it sit for a while and then I'll uh, wipe it back off in a day or two and it'll really supple up that plastic keeps a nice shine plastic's not so brittle just trying to get more years out of these there we go for the one I'm going to restore here. Um, it's definitely in better shape, so I picked the best pieces out of everything that I saw out of the two. This is the one I'm going to use to put back together. So we'll get this out of the way. First thing here, getting the landing gears back on, the covers. Spring. Drop it on here. Drop it through. Pull it up on top. Drop it over the lip. easier another spring around the peg shut the cover pull it up all right, now we'll put the landing gear in. This piece goes here, slides up, pins in there. Front cover, two pins in the back. Seat it in. Back landing gear. These go towards the back. Shut it down. Two pins in the back. Snapped in. Towards the back. go gonna go ahead and grease the uh, slider mechanism
So this is where you have to line the wheels up with the holes. Two back wheels in that hole, front wheel in that hole. Front cover. Over the pin, screw. Using one of the short screws, drop it in. Tighten to where it's snug. Test it before you go any further. So where I grease it, you'll never see it from the outside. You won't know it was greased, except for it just works smoother than the average one. Okay, we'll put the wings on. I'm gonna grease those first. Grease the pinhole. Top and bottom of it. Grease the teeth. It works its way in. You don't have to be like super clean with it. Wings all the way out on the landing gear. Easiest way to get it lined up properly. There's that one. Yeah, it's not going to stay until you put the cover on. I just want to test it. Everything's straight across. Top end, bottom first, back first. Wings open. Snap it back together. Flip it upside down. Long screw in the front. Oops, I forgot the nose cone. No big deal. Slide it over the pin. Drop it in there.
last screw cinch down so everything's tight There you go, that'll work itself in. Um, it'll definitely make it turn better. The um, fuel tanks, I'm gonna glue that back in. I'm gonna use my Mr. Cement Deluxe. Pretty liberal amount. I don't want that coming back out. Push it in. And it'll never come back out unless you need it out. So all I gotta do now is just wipe it off with some uh, baby oil. And this will be done for step one. So I'll let that sit for a couple days. I'll wipe it off with a um, microfiber cloth. Get all that off. Help bring back that plastic. Um, I'm going to get a list to the toy store and see what else we need to get here. So we need the two front seats. I'm not really worried about the parachutes. Canopy. Two engine covers. Two tail fins. Two jet exhaust ports. Six missiles. And then we'll have a complete sky striker. All right. Well, thanks for watching this video. Um, we'll have a part two coming up pretty soon um, once they get the parts to me.